previously. And put away all the crap that I've got. Boosh. Now I'm currently thinking, since it is raining, and rainy is not something that I cares every day, it is actually fairly rare to get rain. Should we try and grind out the armor? I mean look, if you come down here, look. Look, we already have one Eskimo piece. We need to complete the set and then have another full set to die for the pink, and then we've done it. That's all the new armors. Done. Look how much wire we, we went through. My goodness. Right, I'm going to quickly put all this crap away. And right, there we go. That's everything away. And I've decided I'm going to go and try and grind out some Eskimo armor. Now, the best place to do this, I imagine, would be in the grinder we have already. Because it has a blue candle in it, which will lure enemies towards us. So we can have enemies dropping in. No, in fact, before I do that, let's get everything ready we need for the pumpkin moon. So we can just get straight out of that, straight into pumpkin moon. Flask of poison, flask of cursed flames, and we will want a pumpkin pie at some point too, which should be in here. So now we are ready, are we? It's 10.23. No, you know what, I'm going to build a watch. Yeah, I'm going to make a watch. I think you can... Uh, I don't want to waste iron. I'll use that with tungsten. No one uses tungsten for anything. And I think it's th that and a bit of wire. It's been a while. And a table. Oh, freaking hell, we're going to have to go visit Walter again. But that should make us a watch, and with the watch, we can just simply tell the time. Alright, watch, 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 watch. Watch, watch, watch. Where's a watch? What am I missing? A chain. It wasn't a wire, it was a chain. That was close, and it was something... rigid, yet flexible. That away, chain, we should have plenty of them. I made so many for the Fortress of the Damned. 58, there we go, boom. So now we'll never have to wonder about the time again because I can equip it into. Oh, no, not that. Uh, an accessory slot. And the time will always be displayed on the screen. So I'll, like, I'll check it out once we get over to the grinder. Might as well spend as much time in there as possible. Now here's the thing, this is why I wanted the watch. Because it's raining slash snowing, it's already pretty dark. Which makes it hard to tell when it's going to be night time. Difficult to sort our time out. Respect. Right, okay, let's, uh, the watch. Now, can you use it while in here? No. What if you equip it like this? No. It has to be equipped as an accessory, which is what I thought anyway. So let's quickly pop it on instead of wings. So now I can quickly cycle like that. There we go. Oh, no, put it on the. There we go, so it says across on the cycle time at 12 pm. So I'm going to sit in here, I'll stick a fast forward on, or I'll maybe cut it out entirely depending on how active this area is. And I'll be back approximately 7 pm, 8 pm. 7.30 p.m. we'll make our move towards the arena. Right, so in all the time we have spent here, we haven't had a single Eskimo show up, which is blooming fantastic, but we got loads, loads of other stuff. I'll come back and pick it up later, it's not going to vanish. But what we are going to do is make our way across slightly earlier than I said I was going to, because I forgot I still need to set up the... Uh, the traps to come down, don't I, rain hell on earth on these guys. Oh, one thing I did do off camera, by the way. I said I didn't do anything on camera. I did. I beautified up, you know, the area that I got rid of all the corruption in. Uh, which is just across here. I made it look a lot nicer. I made some cool looking waterfalls. I made it, um, I made the mud go deeper down so you didn't see stone all the time. Made a nice lake. 
I, I just generally beautified it, smoothed it all down, and I'm happy with how it looks. It's a lot nicer than what it was. So I want to get up here. Got time before we turn into werewolf. The instant we turn into werewolf, by the way, that's when we want to summon the pumpkin moon. Get out of it. Now, if you remember, we did have a problem, the Arapima problem, which I'm hoping to have solved. Well, not solved, but um, eased up on. Damn it. Slightly. With the fact that um, what I will do is warp. That's much better. That's perfect. Now, what I was doing was I was warping down here and fighting down here, wasn't I? Oops. But what I'm going to do... This is a right freaking nightmare. Is stay down here to fight the guys like this. And as soon as I start to see some Arapimas, I will warp up. And what that will do is it will cause the Arapimas to swim upwardly. In an upward fashion to try and hit me. Which means they'll swim onto the teleporter, get teleported to the fire and die. Oh, crap.
Right, it is morning and we managed to hit wave 11. Not perfect. Ooh, don't know what that is, we'll grab it. Uh, it's not perfect, but uh, we did find out some stuff. Every time we do this, we find out something new about how to tackle the pumpkin moon. I'm just going to quickly put all these things back on. Uh, that is how it should go. Stick that there for now. Right then, let us try to get out of here. Let's pick up as much of this treasure as we can. There's so much stuff. We'll have a look at it all once we've uh, got somewhere safe. Chances are we may die from our own traps once again. Grab as much as we can. But yeah, uh, like I said, every time we do this, we learn something new about how the pumpkin moon works, or how the enemies work, or how we work, or something along those lines. Right, that appears to be everything grabbed, so let's warp home. And one thing I learned this time is that flasks do not stack. So you can see, I've got the poison on my weapon, don't have the eye core or the cursed flames. Now, poison was the weakest of the ones I wanted to use. So because that's not going to work, I will stick to having eye core from now on, rather than the others. So we've learned that, so we could have gotten even further had we had Icor, as opposed to what we did. Now, quickly looking at what we've got, we managed to get another Horseman's Blade. So that was up, is up to 110 damage. I'm liking that. From 96. Right, we'll stick that down there. We managed to find a Candy Corn Rifle. 48 range damage. 33% chance not to consume ammo. I'm guessing this Candy Corn is its ammo. Cool. 327 Spooky Wood. We've got a jellyfish necklace, which you can merge with something else, I think, to have light underwater. Petri dish, throw that away. Glow sticks, throw them away, throw these things away. 61 gold. Other than that, well, we've got some new stuff out of it, at least. I'd rather have uh, some new stuff than and only a few of it than nothing at all. Alright, quickly, let's put all this stuff away. I'll be back in a moment. 